somebody did something really stupid because they started beating journalists. I mean, now you've got two groups. You've beat, beat students and you beat journalists. I mean, it's just from the point of view of the people in power, from the point of view of the regime, you couldn't have picked two worse groups. I mean, because those are the two things that radicalize. Journalists radicalize the West. Students radicalize the people here. And suddenly you've got radicalization on both sides. And people just say enough is enough. And so what's going on on the streets right now is a sort of a mixture of a lot of different people that are protesting for a lot of different reasons. Um, some people are outraged that their dignity has been violated because of beatings. Other people are demonstrating and protesting because their political parties are protesting. And, and, and other people are protesting because they really want a change of life. And they, 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 they don't trust the regime, they don't trust the government, and they're not willing to wait until the next presidential election because they don't believe that another presidential election will actually happen, meaning that it might happen, but it'll be a, it'll be a fraud. Um, so there's a lot of really angry people. 